Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Zelly and Wells Fargo. And more specifically on this video, we're going to talk about how to set up Zelly in your Wells Fargo app. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Wells Fargo Bank, it is one of the largest banking institutions in the US, possibly the top three, but I'm not too sure about that. If you know, be sure to leave me a comment below. Also, if you're not familiar with Zelly, it is a peer-to-peer -peer money transfer system. So basically, if you owe somebody for dinner or rent or something along those lines, you can easily send them money through Zelly, through a text message or through email, and then they can easily transfer that money to whatever bank account that they choose. So how do you use it through Wells Fargo? Well, it's pretty easy. So first off, you want to go to the App Store and download the Wells Fargo banking app. It's this red, yellow, and white one right here. If you don't have the app already, be sure to check the video description. I'll try to leave a video link there. Also be aware that there is a Zelly specific app, but if you're going to be using it through Wells Fargo, you will not be using the Zelly app. You will be using only the Wells Fargo banking app. If you downloaded the Zelly app, it won't accept the Wells Fargo bank account because Wells Fargo already has it built into their app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that Wells Fargo app and open it right now so we can start working on Zelly. All right, I went ahead and opened up the Wells Fargo banking app and it brings you to this login screen. This is assuming that you've already registered with online banking and assuming that you have already set up your username and password and set up your touch ID. If you haven't set one of those up, be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes how to register for online mobile banking with Wells Fargo. But I've already done that, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my touch ID now. All right, so I went ahead and logged into the Wells Fargo mobile banking app and we're gonna go ahead and register this account with Zelly. And that way I can send payment and receive payments through Zelly on on my Wells Fargo account. So how do you do that? Well, they make it pretty easy. What you want to do is go ahead and click right there on the home screen, send money with Zelly. Don't worry if you haven't set that up yet. We're going to go ahead and walk through that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. All right, so I went ahead and clicked there. And then as you can see, it comes up with this screen and it gives a brief description of Zelly. It says, move money within a moment, simply and securely with lots of people you know. Also, here's another screen, pay family and friends fast and they get the money within minutes. And lastly, they have this example if you want to share a sandwich or share a bill. As long as both folks have an eligible bank account, which is most bank accounts in the US, you can use this service. So I'm going to click get started now. All right, so once you click there, then it comes up with the terms and conditions for using Zelly with your Wells Fargo bank account. You can go ahead and read through this. It's a lot of information there. Be sure to read it. It's going to take you a while though, because it's quite a bit of information. I would say it's probably close to 15 pages of information. So just scroll all the way to the bottom. Once you're down here at the bottom, then you want to go ahead and click accept if you agree. I'm going to click that now. All right. I went ahead and clicked on there now. And then this is the screen that pops up here. So at the top, it's going to say to receive money from other people, select a linked account. So a linked bank account and register at least one email or mobile number. Now the email and mobile number, that's the information that you're going to provide to the other person for them to send you money. So for example, when they send that request out, they will send it to either your email or a text message. So just be aware of that. Whatever you register here is the way that you will receive money into this account. Now, if you have more than one bank account like me, you can only register one email for Zelly for each bank account. So for example, I have Chase and Wells Fargo. I can't have my cell phone number registered to both Wells Fargo and Chase. So just be aware of that. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on the deposit account. Which account do you want to receive money in? I only have one Wells Fargo account, so it's going to be pretty easy for me to choose. But if you have multiple Wells Fargo accounts, be sure that you choose the account number that you want people to send money into. So let me go ahead and click on this drop down menu now. All right, there's my checking account. So I'm going to go ahead and click this little toggle button right here now. And I'm going to click save. All right, now you get this confirmation at the top. It says you've successfully saved your account to receive money through Zelly. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit further now. All right, next you want to go ahead and register your mobile number or your email. So the email and phone number that I set up my account is actually the same mobile number and email that I have set up with my Chase Zelly account. So the thing is I cannot use that on this Wells Fargo bank account and it does warn me. So again, I blocked it out, but on the top there is my cell phone number and the next is my personal email address. And then if you look to the right here, it says not available. So basically that that's telling me is that I cannot use that cell phone number or email for my Wells Fargo Zelly account. So I'll need to add a different one. So let me click on this error right here and that way you can see what it says. All right, I went ahead and clicked on it. So it says this phone number cannot be used to receive money through Wells Fargo. 
It may be ineligible for Zelle or already registered. Only email addresses or U.S. noble numbers can be used to receive money. So what it's telling me is that phone number is already registered with Zelle through my Chase account, so I cannot use that. So what I'll need to do is go back into my profile and add a different phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little icon right here at the top. That's the profile settings. Once you open that, a drop-down menu will happen. So let me open that now. All right, so I went ahead and clicked on that. And then what I want to do is go ahead and click on my profile. Next, I'm going to click on update contact information. And next, I'm going to update phone numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and click this drop down menu. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in a different mobile number. So I'm going to click that right now and allow mobile texts. I'm going to enter that phone number in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered that and I'm going to click save now. All right, they're confirming that they have sent a message to the mobile device to confirm that I want to enroll and receive text messages. So I'm going to go ahead and respond to that message now. Here's the text message that I received from Wells Fargo and they're asking me to reply yes enroll. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, I went ahead and replied to it and then it says, welcome to Wells Fargo text messages. So I'm going to click back to the app now. All right, here I am back in the app. So let me go ahead and close this out now. All right, now that I've added that cell phone number in, I'm going to go back to the Zelly home screen. So I'm going to click through this top portion right here, Wells Fargo. All right, here I am back on the home screen. I'm going to click send money with Zelly. All right, and then here you are. So now the account is set up with Zelly. So now I can send or request money through the Wells Fargo app using Zelly. So that's pretty awesome. If you click on send here, just a quick rundown, you'll want to go ahead and add a recipient or click cancel right here. If you want to request money, you just click right here. And then because I have not set up that cell phone number yet, you will need to go to that. So go ahead and click on go to settings and that'll open it up the drop down menu for you to add that cell phone now. So I'm going to click that now. All right. So here we are. We're back on this screen. So I did add my mobile number. And then now what you can do is you can toggle this left and right. And that lets Wells Fargo know that you can either receive money or to stop receiving money from Zelly to that mobile number or email. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And that way, if somebody wants to send me money through Zelly, I can simply give them my cell phone number and then I will receive a text message from Wells Fargo alerting me that I have money from Zelly. So it looks like a slider, but it's actually a button. So just go ahead and click on that. All right. Now they sent me a registration code to that cell phone number just to verify it. So I'm going to click on over to that text message and get that code. All right. So I went ahead and verified that. Now I can go ahead and request money through Zelly on my Wells Fargo. So I'm going to click request. And there you have it. Now I can add a recipient or you can allow Wells Fargo to access your contacts. I don't like to do that because I don't like to give the phone access to all of my contacts. You can if you want, but that's how you set up Zelly payments through your Wells Fargo mobile banking app. It's kind of a long process in the beginning, but once you get it set up, it's really easy to send and receive money through Wells Fargo Zelly. If you would like step-by-step -step on how to send money or receive money, be sure to check the video description and you can watch my other videos on that. But hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.